G'day fellas, Jim Harnwell here. I'm on the New South Wales south coast with Ian Phillips, better known as the Big E. Now Ian is this area's local flathead gun. He's developed a really uh, radical and effective technique on luring up uh, big flatties with soft plastics. So mate, what's the big thing with your technique? How, how, what does it do to, to actually attract the bites? Jim, I call it ripping. And uh, what it is is one awesome big rip just to move that plastic straight up off the bottom, yep. make the flathead aware that something's there, they'll come over, they'll come up and grab it, it'll go back down to the bottom with the plastic in its mouth. The second rip, when you go again, is to set that hook. Okay. Because as we know, the flathead have got really big bony mouths, Yep. Yep. and it sets it up nice and firm for a good solid hook up. Now what sort of uh, gear would you recommend for someone getting into soft plastic ink for flatties? Mate, this day and age there's so many good products but any two and a half thousand size reel, yeah. uh, seven foot uh, rod, two to four, four to six kilo, um, six pound braid, and anywhere from sort of six pound through to 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. And in regards to lures, what are you like a three inch, four inch? Try to match the size of the bait fish. So generally these days, more of the bait fish are around that three inch mold. Uh, so I go for a three inch plastic. Yep, and any particular colours? Oh look, more of the earthy colours like your naturals, your, your root beers, your, your whites, uh, your reds, um, uh, yeah, golds, black and golds, yep. things like that. Yeah, and the water we're going to be fishing today ranges from about say 10 to 25 feet. Uh, what sort of jig head would you recommend in that sort of water? Again, depending on, on the drift, anywhere from a quarter ounce through to a three eighth ounce. Okay. 3 8 ounce probably more so as it gets a bit windier and the drift becomes a bit harder. Yep. And uh, the basin's, you know, a basin, so it's a, it's a large area of water. It's got drop-offs on the edges and then it's fairly flat. And I guess a lot of uh, coastal sort of lake systems are similar to that. So do you find that the flatties live right on the drop-off or they, near the drop-off? Yes, Jim, they tend to stay, they, they work anywhere from the weed edge all the way down the drop off down to the bottom plateau. Yep. And they always tend to stay more so there and then up onto that, that edge. So they're targeting those edges is always really where you Always work that drop off edge yeah, all yeah. the way through the whole, the whole spectrum of it. Yep. And do you find that uh, this technique works on, on flathead of, of all sizes or is it more sort of aimed at the bigger fish? Works on the small tiddlers as it does with the big ones. And they, the small normal table size fish, your yep. 40, 45 centimetre, which if anybody wants to take a feed, they're the perfect size. Mm. It more than uh, happily uh, hooks up with those and uh, you catch those all the time as well. And mate, um, I know I've seen lots of photos of you with some, you know, enormous flathead. What's your personal best? 1.3 metres. 1.3. Yeah. That is a croc. That, that was a croc, that thing. Wow, that's awesome. Well mate, if we could get anywhere sort of near that, like even like in the 80s or 90s, I'd be just so stoked. I think we should go pretty well today. We'll uh, we'll give it our best shot. There's a fair bit of wind today, mm. um, but yeah, we'll we'll go out there and we'll endeavour to try and uh, put some uh, various sizes on board. Well, I'll hold you to that, mate. So, you know, big flathead. Here's the ledge. <laughs> so let's go and see if we can catch one. Let's go. So mate, we're, we're just drifting the drop off uh, where we're hoping that a big flatty might be lurking. Just want to run through your technique and, and how it works. Sure mate. Well, main thing is I always try to put in as long a cast as I can. Yeah. Reason for that being that it puts you into the, uh, in the zone, mm -hmm. which is the bottom. Yep. Um, as long as possible. And therefore more distance covered means the possibility of more fish. As with any plastics fishing, especially for flathead, you gotta wait until the plastics hit the bottom. You see the slack go in the line, and I take up a little bit of slack, and then I rip. Wow, that is a rip. You know, um, which really does apply that, that action to the plastic, makes the fish aware that there's a plastic in the water, and at the same time, if the fish has taken the plastic, sets it into the top jaw. So what, I guess what you're doing there, so that this is, you know, the plastic on the bottom, you're ripping it up and it's just shooting straight up like that. Exactly right. And then when it's coming down, that tail's... Tail's working. Fish, the flathead sees it. It comes over, it grabs that plastic. It goes back to the bottom. And then it's laying there with the plastic in its, its mouth. The next big rip 
Sets the hook. Sets the hook. Yeah, and they just about always take it on the drop, don't they? Uh, nine, nine out of ten flathead will take it on the drop. Quite an aggressive uh, retrieve. You wouldn't necessarily think how old flatter you'd respond to that, would you? Well, I suppose, you know, like a bait fish trying to dart up off the bottom, you know, like an injured fish. Yeah, yeah. And you see that the way that they sort of, they'll take off real quick and then they'll settle again and then they'll take off and then they'll settle. Having said all that, you've got to be flexible in your approach. So there are days when the big rip may not be working. So therefore you'll wait, you'll hit the bottom again. Instead of a big rip, you'll give it half a dozen winds yeah. and scoot it across the bottom that way. Yeah. Wait for it to hit the bottom again. And if you see that, if you see that subtle tap, then you can give it the rip to set the hook. Well, mate, I think we've probably talked about it long enough, eh? Let's see if we can catch one. Yeah, I think we can try. We just hooked a, a, a nice big flathead. Oh, mate, yeah, that's that a is a cracker. That's what you call a flathead, and that's how it's done. Okay, guys, you can see now that jigging soft plastics for flathead is really effective. Uh, you can catch your average sort of 40 to 50 centimetre fish, which are great for uh, the table. But beautiful big fish like this 97 and a half centimetre crocodile always got to be released. So uh, we're going to get this beauty back in the water where she belongs and uh, get out there, jig a few plackies around and you'll maybe catch a beautiful fish like this.